Look at the little babies. Look at them. They're so cute. Look at the cuteness. It's the cuteness. And there's your mommy looking at me like I'm a bad person, but I'm not. Look at him. This one likes to go out. I had to block them in already. They're right here next to my bed. How cute. Look, Mama. Oh. And then behind her, she's got one black, one black tabby like her. The rest, the other four are orange like their father. I think their father was a cat outside that I feed outside. Yeah, I'm going to have to have her fix. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn her in and turn in the babies. I don't really have a choice. I already have three other cats here that she had. I'm already in a... You know, I've got this one, which is a tabby. It's her daughter. I got cow cat, which is her daughter also. And I think I got this boy here. That's her son, who also goes and sucks on her nipples now and again, which is kind of creepy. But <laughs> uh, that's what I got going on here. So... You know, I know nobody's going to want a cat. So unless I can make uh, enough money to buy a house, they're going to have to go. As it is, there's too many. That's a total of 10 cats, including Serana, which is the only cat that I'm obligated to, who is right there, right, Mama? There she is. I found her. I found her. She was lost, and then she came back. She was crying. I found her downstairs. She was crying. Right, mamas? She's like, oh, why me? Why me? Oh, no, babas. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, bo. Ah, ah. Okay. All right, well. <sighs> it's one expense after another. One kind of slavery after another. I have to start logging in. The good thing is I'm working from home, so I had to save a lot of energy and time. The bad thing is it doesn't make the bills go away. It just maintains. Um, still trying to learn the stock market. I learned about market structure. I learned about other things. I do have a, a section called stock education that you could look at if you want to learn it yourself. I have a mentor who is going to give me a test today for market structure. Hopefully I'll pass. and If not, maybe I'll just, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, this planet sucks and this world and this reality is a joke. I see so many van videos. So I want to just buy a van, live in there and just hide away from everybody because everything's crazy. But you know what? Vans break down. Uh, to take a van and turn it into a living space requires at least $10,000. And San Antonio, Texas in general, tends to be really hard on people that live out of their vehicles. They, uh, especially people in the city, they just want to make damn sure you're just like them, a slave to the system. They won't let you have any freedom. So... So much for being free in America, you know, almost 50 and uh, haven't accomplished anything material, but you know what? It wasn't worth it. The degree wasn't worth it. All these lies on TV were lies. They were just trickery to get your money. There's no love there for me or anybody else. People are still programmed, deluded, and crazy. You know, when I dealt with entities, I actually saw them. I actually interacted with them. There was telepathy. When you guys interact with entities, you have this fucking fantasy dream sometimes. And uh, it's not real. It's just something they put in your head. The problem is I know exactly how real it is and how they can put stuff in your head. 
and uh, how much you could easily believe that and get swept off away. Like the 13th son, you know, and his little Moorish cult. A Moor is just somebody who just sits on the gold and they just backstab and cheat and use people against each other. That's what a Moor is. A Moor is not a beginner of civilization. Civilization is not Moorish. Civilization is whether or not you love your neighbor, whether or not you care about yourself, whether, you know, there are certain basic things and that makes you a civilization. It's not Moor. If you guys were Moor, this planet wouldn't be the way it is. The Moors will only care about themselves. The Jews will only care about themselves. The Christians will only care about themselves. The magicians will only care about themselves, unfortunately. But anyway, have a good day, guys. Try to go out there and live life anyway, despite your circumstances of shit. Bye-bye.